That was scary. <laughs> this is, we're at the back of a like rest stop area. Found it on Wiki. But look at this. <laughs> There's these little birds everywhere. They're in my tires. Yeah, they're in the tires. So we're hoping these don't actually go too deep. <laughs> this is where we're going to spend the night. Nobody else here. Little free spot. Like Joss said, just found on Wikicamp. Had a shower. We had a bush shower. Bush shower? Yeah. We'll heat up bath. some water. Bird bath. Little snack. Yeah, and we had um, a spectator when I was mid-shower, so I just did it here behind us, not realising there was someone up on that hill watching, so then we had to go around the other side, but feeling fresh, gonna have some snacks, enjoy the fire. So this morning we left our little free camp, um, there's too many flies and we couldn't be bothered um, having breakfast or anything, hit the road, and we've run into rain. I think it's our first like proper wet weather driving day we've had um, and we've got about 50 k's left of fuel and Curtin Springs the next road stop is 52 k's. <laughs> oh it's right in a big puddle. <laughs> oh no. What? 2.99. Oh 2.99.9. Shit. So we are, and we start every sentence so. So, so we are 52, 50 k's out of Uluru, and we think we can see it already, but I don't know. 52 k's is a long way. It is, but it's massive, and then because um, it's not the best day, it's very. Yeah, it's hard to see. Very gloomy. The top of it looks like it's in the clouds, so. Be able to see it over this ridge and we'll show you. It looks fucking massive. It looks massive, which is good because I would hate to be underwhelmed by it. <laughs> We've just arrived at Uluru campground, just having a little salad sandwich before we go out and exploring. The reviews for the place are pretty accurate. <laughs> um, not great. Not great. Like the staff weren't that nice. We asked for a powered site um, and she told us there wasn't and then someone checked in literally right next to us and then they got a powered site because they had a caravan so. They're discriminatory, <gasps> discriminatory against rooftop tents. No. Yep. It w uh, maybe we just got unlucky or maybe she didn't understand but anyways. We're in the dirt pit. Um, $90 for two nights, but it stopped raining, which is good. Uh, Joss is eating his sandwich, which isn't that nice. But yeah, we'll go, we're gonna hire some bikes and do um, ride around the base, go for sunset. Hopefully, it's a good sunset if it clears up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm optimistic. And then we've got all day tomorrow to explore as well, which, but yeah, this is gonna be home for the next two nights. Pass. Um, before we came in, we just thought it'd be easier. Uh, it was thirty-seven dollars per person. Yep. Seventy-six total, so whatever that is. Um, and look, first glimpse. Properly, go for it. It can't be thirty-seven. It was seventy-six total. Yeah. So that makes it thirty-eight. And there she is. And blue skies coming out. Do you reckon that's it? Woohoo! Do you reckon that's it? You don't think? Uh, I feel like it's not that big. What? So, pictures, it looks smaller in the pictures. Oh, you think that's too big? Yeah, that's another one. Oh. It's 
big. <laughs> it's hard to imagine how people used to climb it. So we're at Uluru. We're going to do the base walk now, so it's 10.6 k's. Um, we're going to hire a bike. So bikes are 60 bucks. Per person. Per person. It's three hours. It's three hours. So it was a little expensive, but we also saw the bikes. They're not like the best bikes. So. I wonder if you can, you might be able to bring your own bikes out here. Maybe. Look that up because that, it'd be cool to ride around here, but 60 bucks is a bit steep, so. Yeah. Especially since now we're paying three dollars a litre for fuel. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, at Uluru, doing the base walk. It is so impressive. Yeah. Um, so much bigger than. It's funny. Not many people know about Uluru. So, um, they don't. No, nah, it's worth visiting. Yeah. One of those hidden gems. Hidden gem of Australia. No, just just talking shit. Um, oh, but it, it's impressive. I thought it would be. I actually didn't think it'd be this big. No, neither did I. Um, so yeah, we've just started the trail. There's like two people behind us, so it's so big that it doesn't feel busy. True. Um, but it's just the texture of it is so amazing. The scale of it, all these like little curves, and where like you could just imagine where the water's like flowing down it. Um, so yeah, take a look. And Which I feel like we just, if we'd got here yesterday morning, or this morning, we would have seen water water flowing down. Because even this is like one bit here and it you could wet. tell like, it looks wet and like a big one over there. I don't know, it's just so cool. There's a couple of sections around the base walk where you're not allowed to take photo or video. So that's why you haven't been able to see my face for about a kilometre. <laughs> but you've got it back. Um, it's nice of the ants. They did a replica of the Ayers Rock for themselves. That's pretty cool, hey? To scale as well. Things you see. Okay. How high do you reckon that is? I'm really bad with distances, but I'm going to say... 200 meters. I don't know. We'll Google it. What do you think it is? Uh, it's probably like 100, if 100 max, maybe like no, 80. No, you think about running that like more than 100 meters. You said you're bad, and I, I reckon I'm good, so we'll go with my guess. Um, a fort, we call it. A fort? <laughs> a moat? A moat, that's it. <laughs> Fuck. That was scary. <laughs> Just join in, you get more information. <laughs> now I know how Mufasa feels when he's in that stampede. <laughs> oh. This morning we are going to go and do the Valley of the Winds walk and then we might go to the camel farm. Apparently there's like cute little baby camels we can look at. We don't want to ride them. Just might ride one. Um, and then we're just going to go back to Uluru for another sunset because that was really good last night. Um, 
Um, it's a bit windy today and maybe get some rain, but here's what it is. Where are we, Megan? The Camel Farm. Pretty cool. Look how big their feet are. Yeah. Megan's in an element with her little cows. Hey, mate. Isn't interesting. <laughs> I can't wait to see them. So we're at the camel farm. This is where they do the camel tours, but there's heaps of camels. And a baby camel, kangaroos over there, cows. I didn't know that was, this was here. Yeah. She can't reach him. Oh. Oh, ducks. Come here. He's dead. No. Day two at Uluru. Day two at Uluru. We are at the Olgas today. Wait, I don't know the... Fuck, here we go. Another name we don't know. <laughs> I don't know the indigenous name. Apologies. Um, Valley of the Winds. Valley of the Wind. We do, it's living up to its name. It's pretty windy. That's the view we've got at the start of our walk. Um, so yeah, we're embarking on 7.4k loop, I think. Yep. And yeah, let's get into it. She's windy. Apparently, it gets really windy. <laughs> Feels pretty windy already. Oh shit! <laughs> you meant to do that. I think this is the valley of the winds. <laughs> it just comes pummeling through there. I feel like I'm literally to like stand oh. here. Megan's made us sit here for like four hours to make sure we get the best spot for sunset. That is not why we're here. It's 4.44, we saw it two hours until sunset. And we have to have the car open because it's too hot, but there's so many flies, so they're getting in the car. Travel around Australia, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> the thing that we first thought may have been an opal. I dropped, of course. Oh, so here. It's the same freaking rocks. Um, but now just like re-sifting through where I dropped the other thing, he's actually found something that's got like blue and green in it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. 